Hello there, my beautiful Sagittarius friends. How are you? Welcome back to Sacred Knowledge Tarot. I am so happy and thankful to each and every one of you for being here with me today. So thank you, everyone. And those of you that are brand new to my channel, hello and welcome, my friends. My name is Ria, and I do these readings every week. So on June the 16th, everyone, we have a powerful alignment taking place. We've got Venus and Mercury moving into the sign of Cancer. This is an energy of love and communication. How are we choosing to embody and embrace this energy in our lives? It's all about the lens that we look through, the lens of love. How do we choose to express love through communication? You're going to see this coming at you as well. So some of you might be finding yourselves falling in love or spending more time with family and friends. Okay, so what I'm going to do for you today is open your reading with a guardian angel oracle deck. Then I'm going to pull three cards out of my tarot deck to see what message spirit has for you, followed by an animal card from the Power Animal Oracle deck. And then I'm going to pull two personal messages for you. So these have been a favorite on my channel here. So I'm going to incorporate these going forward. So two personal messages that I might not understand. So I want you to place them wherever they resonate for you. And then an angel number. So those of you that are watching today, if you've been seeing signs through animals or insects, patterns, symbols, angel numbers, this is all going to give you your confirmation and guidance today. So stay tuned for all of this, my beautiful friends. All right, Sagittarius, let's call in spirit and open up your reading. See what it is that spirit would like you to hear today. So we are getting for you motivation. You're being blessed with motivation or you're being called to motivate yourself. So the message here is deep within your essence lies a potent driving force and an inner fire that burns with creation and achievement. You possess the ability to harness energy and concentrate on your goals and your dreams. So again, deep within your essence lies a potent driving force, an inner fire that burns with creation and achievement. You possess the ability to harness energy and concentrate your goals on your goals and your dreams. So they're really um, amplifying the energy of your mind, your imagination here, okay? So this is the power that is coming in. And I really feel that some of you are feeling motivated right now. Um, I don't know what it is that's come into your mind here, but you're excited. This is what I'm feeling for some of you. You'll have to share with me what that is. All right, so we are getting temperance, balance. Balance for you is going to be very important. Cultivating this balance in your life in order to rise up because through this balance, when you see that things are a little bit chaotic and you're able to take that chaos and balance it out, you're going to be motivated, right? Sometimes motivation comes in that way. So I do feel there's this uh, need for stability in your life right now. So that's the temperance card. Now, this is also a major arcana card. So this energy is going to be prominent. However, it's in the background. So some of you are going to feel this intensely. Others, you're going to feel this subtly. We are getting the four of swords, rest, slowing things down, thinking things through, doing your research here, right? Not rushing into things. This is going to be so important for you. I know that some of you might be feeling motivated and you're wanting to see things happen really quickly, but this is where spirit is saying, let's slow down a little bit and pay attention to detail, okay? So what I also want you to do today is to use your own intuition with my reading. So whenever you see my cards popping up on screen, I want you to try and interpret them using your own intuition. Not only will this strengthen your intuition, but you will receive your own messages. Okay, so the Four of Swords and we have the Queen of Cups, a beautiful energy. This is where you're nurturing yourself and everything around you. Okay, this is that energy of love that you're going to see expansion through. It's that energy of give and receive and receive and give. Okay, so there's this full circle energy that is playing a huge part in your life. And you're going to see a lot of growth here, Sagittarius. Okay, so Queen of Cups. Now, um, before I begin here, I just wanted to mention that we all live a different life experience. These cards are going to present themselves differently in each of our lives. This is also a general reading for you today. So those of you that are watching, if my reading isn't resonating for you, please leave it behind. 
So temperance, balance, slowing things down. And this is how you're going to create balance in your life is by slowing down a little bit. Now I'm getting an overconsumption of something here in the card. Uh, the temperance card maybe you've got too much of something that you're taking in maybe consuming uh, physically or even mentally here watching too much of something hearing too much of something and this is creating an influence that is having a ne negative impact in your life or you're feeling like things are a little bit unstable because of the influences around you the energies around you so this is where you have to cultivate that inner sanctuary where you can go to to tune into um, what i'm getting is somebody tuning themselves out with all the rumors the gossip the things that are going on this is a work environment this could be even a family environment where you're at peace with yourself you don't engage in that energy you don't take part in it so i feel this is what spirit is calling you to do is to really not engage in things that are creating friction or static or um just turbulence in your life sagittarius i feel that it's now time for you to really balance things out sometimes when we're trying to balance things we have to let go of things that might be too much for us this could be a relationship or a person that drains our energy that throws us off balance right and um, i feel that some of you are actually working on things in your home in your own personal life on projects where um, you're trying to balance your hours and your timing um, i'm seeing some of you really working on um, you've got your like daytime hours, the eight hours that you spend, maybe more depending on how long it takes you to get to work and come home. And then looking at your schedule to implement something that you enjoy doing in your life. This has to do with your wellness. So I do feel some of you are rearranging your schedules at this time, or there is a need to rearrange your schedule in order to really balance um, the way your day is shaped uh, throughout the week, throughout each day right so uh, i feel there's this uh, need to want to do that or even reorganizing your home creating balance getting rid of old things um and and really this is also spiritually happening here i feel some of you are shifting spiritually um because of some sort of information that has come in some of you may have been looking at information looking for answers or things that are throwing you in this <clears throat> Um, it feels like unbalanced state um, where you're trying to gather information to see what is right and what is wrong. There is no right or wrong, right? I feel that whatever resonates for you is true for you. It's not wrong for you is what spirit is saying. So they're really wanting you to understand yourself and balance out your beliefs and things that are maybe feeling like they're off balance. So they're really wanting you to spend time on this energy to really um, bring things and ground them bring things in ground them take the chaos and organize it a little bit uh, put it into maybe even a system yourself into a system to handle some of the things that are uh, throwing you off balance i feel that someone was juggling and and as you're juggling you're doing really well and all of a sudden there's a new ball that showed up and you're kind of like oh my gosh this is like what's happening here so again organization for you is going to be very powerful organizing your life slowing things down some of you might be feeling so what's what's happening here they're wanting you to motivate yourself to actually get things done this month june july okay so motivation you're being given this power to actually create balance in your own life harmony you might be feeling like relationships are a little bit off as well and you're feeling motivated to actually either mend them or close those chapters off like it's it's kind of like you're like all right i did this i i tick this off my list I'm good on that. So I see some of you ticking some boxes off here with this. I've dealt with that, I've dealt with this, I've dealt, and you're doing it really well. Um, and they want you to kind of deal with things so there's not too much on your plate here, Sagittarius. Really interesting. Um, slow things down, take care of your wellness here. I'm getting inflammation. I don't know why they're showing me arms. Uh, maybe something to do with your veins. Um, this could be like a rash, something to do with things flaring up. So again, rest, slowing things down a little bit just to pay attention to your body, to tune in, to listen to it. And sometimes we take too much food in or certain types of food that might be causing inflammation where in order for us to recognize it, we need, we need to slow things down just a little bit um, to see, okay, how is my body reacting to this? 
Um, even document your day and how your body's been reacting to certain things in your day. I feel this is very important to do your work, do your research um, in order to figure out things. And I feel that through this slower paced energy, you're going to see how answers show up for you. And it's the things that you're doing in this slower paced energy because I feel you're going to have more time to do things that you haven't had time to do, which will lead you to pathways that'll give you more information, opening you up to newer experiences and results and answers, right? The other thing is I'm getting this rush to have to decide to do something. This feeling of, okay, I have to get this done. And it's this feeling of stress and anxiety that is coming in with this. So again, they want you to take the pressure off of yourself here, Sagittarius, around whatever this is. Okay, release that pressure, put it down for just a moment, allow spirit to connect with you, right? Let's talk to spirit. Um, they're saying, I'm, I'm seeing somebody in their bedroom who's talking to their angel, angel guide. And sp angel spirit is saying, let's just put all these things down that are worrying you right now, just for a second, and let's you and me have a conversation here. This is what spirit is asking you to do. And this is why you have an angel in this card because you're surrounded by angels. You are supported. You are safe. Anything that you require at this time, you want to have a conversation with spirit. You could do it through prayer. You can actually sit down and just imagine an angel sitting beside you and having a conversation. I sometimes do this. And I know sometimes um, people have seen me do this and they're like, what are you doing? Who are you talking to? Right? So that's okay. Don't let other people's opinions scare you here. You could do this at home when nobody's there, right? Um, but I do feel that um, there's this connection, there's this advice, there's this information coming in for you through this quiet moment, okay? Um, they're wanting you to look inward. They're really wanting you to connect with your higher self at this time because the guidance that you are seeking, the direction that you need to move is all going to come through this connection with your higher self to spirit, right? Meditation, uh, doing yoga at home. This is where you're not uh, in a space or energy where you're worrying about the mundane things about your everyday life. You're not worrying about, okay, what am I making for dinner? What about this thing that's happening tomorrow? What about this meeting or that? Who cares about all of those things right now? Let's just forget those. I know it's hard to do sometimes, but if you actually make a point uh, to put it in your schedule. Let's say, okay, I'm going to spend half an hour on this. I'm going to spend half an hour meditating and just clearing my mind. And a lot of times when we first start doing this, we don't get the answers that we're seeking or we get no answers at all. It takes practice. It takes consistency, right? You're growing stronger. It's like working out a muscle in your mind that needs you to do it over and over so it strengthens and it starts to work, right? So this is what I'm getting here with this card for you today to slow things down. So those of you that are seeing a lot of red lights uh, or you're feeling like you're being slowed down somehow, like an ankle sprain, uh, I'm getting something to do with someone's finger here or even a hip, something to do with your hip. So you're not able to move um, fast. So there's things slowing you down right now. This is an opportunity for you to really get to know yourself, but also gain the answers that you're seeking around what you want answers around, okay? So this is what spirit is really wanting you to um, embrace is this slow and steady pace, not, not the speedy rushed energy. Um, and there's something that is sparking, something that you are connecting to. This is a connection taking place. And it's happening because you're slowing down here, Sagittarius. You're slowing down. You're really taking things in. This is sometimes when you're in a busy work environment. You get outside at lunch. You take a breath of fresh air and you just sit by yourself. Eat your lunch outside. I've done this, right? And you see the birds. You see the beauty you see. And it's just peaceful and it's just so nice. And imagine doing that every single day. Like all the things that can come. Like just feel at peace. I'm seeing someone outside. There's like light shining on you through the trees. Maybe this is like a, a park bench or some sort of like, it looks like a circle area that you sit in and a couple of stairs. There's some trees, some buildings there. Um, so you're able to sit and really, and you know what? I feel you're going to meet people here as well. This is where the connections are taking place. You're like a magnet here. You're drawing this energy and through your own peace and calm. All right, so this is beautiful energy, this flow that is coming through you that is attracting this energy. Maybe it's a squirrel that approaches you one day. Maybe it's a person, right? 
but I feel that you need this in your life. This is a part of self-care for you. So self-care for you is going to be very important uh, this month. Um, spending time in nature. Connection to water here is also going to be very important for some of you. Getting outside, um, getting out into the ocean, into the water. Um, drinking more water as well. I'm getting a very nurturing energy caregiver energy coming in so some of you might be finding that you're spending more time with family maybe a parent someone elderly taking care of your kids a grandchild just a lot more presence of family and people around you and it's just beautiful it feels really good so this is where spirit is really wanting you to be open those of you that are in business right now it's a great time to connect to network to mix and mingle those of you looking for love Again, going through that quiet time, slowing things down a little bit just to get to know yourself. And then as you move forward, not rushing into finding anyone. If you're looking for love, love is in the air right now. Okay, so all heart-centered energy. So get out there, mix and mingle. Don't rush to find someone. There's no, no need to rush to get to know someone. Allow things to unfold naturally and organically. And spirit is wanting you to just be yourself. There's no need to put up a front. Um, they're wanting you to come from a place of your heart, right? Because this is where you're going to find that love coming in. And those of you that are looking for love, make yourself a wish list of what it is that you want to see in a partner. Like actually visualize yourself with this person doing your day-to-day -day things. When I did this, I actually manifested my husband, right? So I visualized a person. I didn't put a face to this person. I just, everything that I wrote on my wish list came to fruition, like every single detail. All right, so it could be as long as you want. Sit down one day where you're in a quiet space, right? This is that quiet space where you gain clarity of, okay, this is what I want. This is what I want to experience with a partner. Now that's in the, it's in the universe. We put that energy onto a sheet of paper and in our mind, we've activated that energy. Now you have to do your part where you're getting out there and being open to mix and mingle with people, right? So this, a lot of growth, again, a lot of expansion. I'm seeing some of you thinking outside the box with a job or a project, um, doing something completely different because they're showing me a mother who has a child, but this child doesn't uh, work with regular, um, this child is a bit different, so you have to teach the child a different way. Right? So you're thinking outside of the box, you're exploring, okay, what, or you're wanting to teach your child something a different way. This could be seen different ways here. So this is also in your job to think outside the box here to try different ways of doing things because you never know what might work. And if you're going, um, what I'm getting is someone doing something a certain way because you think it works. Um, so there's all, and it's not working is what Spirit is saying. It's not working. So those of you that are in a position like that, um, if you want to see some growth here, you want to see your, yourself breaking free from this barrier, this block, they want you to go around it. They want you to go over it, under it, right? From an angle, right? Look at it from different ways and try different, different things to see which one works. And you're going to find that something does work for you. Okay. So this is what's coming through with spirit, uh, through the queen of cups. I'm also getting creative energy, children, fertility here. So some of you might be hearing that you're pregnant or hearing news of a baby, okay? And that's that growth and expansion in your family. Some of you are motivated to actually find a family. There's no rush, like you're waiting for this person to come in to connect, like, you know, spirit and God to connect you with the right person. So if you're somebody that is passive and waiting for this to come in, this is where spirit is giving you the motivation, telling you motivate yourself and get out there and meet people and connect because this is how you're going to find that person because that energy of love is in the air, okay? So I'm now going to pull a power animal card for you. So I'm gonna read you the interpretation from the guidebook as well. Those of you that are seeing animals or insects in your life, this is going to give you your confirmation and guidance today. So we are getting for you Coyote. Have any of you seen a coyote? This is your confirmation today. If you haven't, you've seen one now and you're probably going to see one. So the message on the card is trust your ability to adjust to life's changes. Your quick thinking will solve any problems. So look at that. All right. So let's read the interpretation here from the guidebook. So coyote. Here we are. Within the vast tapestry of nature's canvas, the coyote emerges as a symbol of adaptability. 
cunning, uh, cunning wisdom, and the art of transformation. With its quicksilver moments and mischievous spirit, it, uh, it navigates the ever-shifting landscapes with ease, offering us a timeless insight into the power of resourcefulness and the magic of adaptation. Picture the coyote as it runs through the wilderness, each step a confirmation of its agility and cunning. It thrives in an environment where many would falter, a creature that knows how to bend and shape itself to the challenges of its surroundings. The coyote's existence serves as a powerful testament to the importance of embracing change and trusting in our ability to adapt. And sometimes when we have these two cards together, this is us ad adjusting and adapting to situations through balance and slowing things down. The coyote teaches us the art of adaptability just as it changes its tactics to thrive in different environments we too can adjust to life's shifting circumstances. It reminds us that our resourcefulness and quick thinking are our greatest assets in navigating the twists and turns of our journey. From the coyote, we also learn the wisdom of transformation. It is a creature steeped in myth and folklore, often seen as a shapeshifter and a trickster. This duality underscores the remarkable capacity of the human spirit to change and grow, to find magic in the ordinary, and to solve problems with cunning creativity. The coyote's message is clear. Embrace your inner shapeshifter and trust in your ability to adapt. Your resourcefulness and quick thinking are your greatest allies. Just as a coyote navigates life's challenges with agility, so too can you find the magic in transformation and approach problems with cunning wisdom. So look at that. Embrace wolf spirit here, everyone. All right, I'm now going to pull two personal messages for you. So feel free to pause this video for a moment. Take a deep breath in and clear your mind and open yourself up to spirit here. Now, I might not understand these messages, so I want you to place them wherever they resonate for you today, okay? So we are getting here. Something from your past will resurface. It's okay to revisit. So again, something from your past will resurface. It's okay to revisit. All right. Next, be careful who and what you surround yourself with. Be careful who and what you surround yourself with. Okay. So I'm now going to pull an angel number. So some of you have been seeing angel numbers, repeating numbers in your life. This is going to give you your confirmation and guidance. I'm using a different deck today, okay? So we are getting for you 2112. Any of you seeing these numbers in this sequence, perhaps on a phone number, maybe on an address or somewhere else? This is your confirmation that it's up to you. Sagittarius, it is up to you. So know that someone is watching over you. There's some good fortune coming in. Unforeseen forces are all around you taking shape and there's a new direction. So the message here is even if it seems like you're not making any meaningful progress, things are moving in the right direction. If you see this number, it's a sign that everything will work out in your favor and your dreams will come true. I'm going to read this one more time. Even if it seems like you're not making any meaningful progress, things are moving in the right direction. If you see this number, it's a sign that everything will work out in your favor and your dreams will come true. All right, so this is your message. This is your reading. I hope it resonates for you. If it does, please comment below, hit that like button. And if you're brand new to my channel and you're enjoying my content, please consider subscribing. Other than that, I wanted to wish you all a beautiful day and thank you so much for watching.